Bo, thank heavens you came. Vicky, what's going on? You okay? I don't even know anymore. All right, well, what happened? You said on the phone this is about Ben? Yeah. He's gone over the edge. He's gone on a rampage. Please, you have to do something before somebody gets hurt. Okay, Vicky, just calm down. Tell me what happened. Well, I received this very strange note from Allison Perkins. What did it say? It said, I hate you. All right, I'm going to get somebody on this. Oh, no, 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 you don't need to do that. Because I, 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 I'm not that worried about that. Well, not entirely that. Did Ben do something? He went through the roof. I have never, ever seen him in such a fury. Where is he right now? He went rushing off to confront Allison. In prison? Yes. I mean, I told him she would never admit to having done that. But he wouldn't listen. No, no. He said... What? Oh, Vicky, look, you're going to have to tell me if I'm going to be able to help. Oh, Bo. He would choke the truth out of her if he had to. He actually said he would choke her. Yeah. You think it's bad, too, don't you? Look, I wouldn't worry about it. Allison is behind bars. He probably can't even get in to see her anyway. But, but, but what if he can? You didn't see him. See, but even if he could get in to see her, he wouldn't do, be able to do anything. Come on, just trust me. Okay? Oh, yes. Oh, of course, you're probably right. No, I am right. There's no probably to it. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. You always make me feel so much better. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm glad. Really, you don't need to worry about anything. No, no, of course not, because you always have a way of dealing with things, don't you? Oh, come on. <laughs> Everything's going to be okay. I'm starting to believe that now. <laughs> okay, where's the note? Can I see it? What? The note that Allison wrote? Uh, I'd like to see it. I don't have it. Did Ben take it with him? No. When where is it? I burned it. You burned it? Yeah. It was so disturbing to me that I just did it. Yeah. Vicky, it's, it's evidence. Huh? You, you publish a newspaper. You know, you don't destroy evidence. Why did you do that? Why did I burn the note? Yeah. It was an impulse. An impulse? Yeah. I was so upset the way Ben rushed out of here. I mean, you should have seen him. He was like a maniac. Vicky, Ben would never hurt Allison, even if he could get in there to see her. Who cares? Of course, you're right. I see that now, but I didn't think that before, did I? I mean, I was just so upset, and I grabbed it and burned it. The problem here is that without the note, I don't have proof that Allison's harassing you. <clears throat> yes, well, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking about fingerprints or evidence or anything like that. I just wasn't even thinking at all. I'm really sorry. No, it's okay. Oh, gosh, I should never, ever, ever have shown Ben that note. Wait, he was really that bad? Oh, please, worse than ever. Completely and totally overreacted. I'll tell you what. I'll drive up to Statesville if I'll make you oh, feel no, better. Oh, no, no, no. You don't have to do that. No, are you, are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Actually, I'd appreciate it if you could just stay here with me for a little while. All right, but, it, you know, if you're worried that Ben is going to do something to Allison... Oh, go. Oh. It's not just Allison, it's... It's so much more. What do you mean? It's Ben. He's changed, you know, he's angry and distant. Distant? He's just not the man that I married. Things are not going well between us. They haven't for quite a while. Either. What are you saying? that bad? You want a divorce? Yes. Yes, I really do. Oh. You're surprised, aren't you? Yeah, I am. I, I knew that you two were having your problems recently. Well, it's not just recently. It isn't? No. This has been going on for months. Vicki, all marriages, they have their rough patches. Now, you know that. I know that. But this, 
This is different. So are you just going to give up? No, you did. What? With Nora. You just gave up with Nora. No, no, this is different. Uh, that How? Was, well, because Nora slept with someone else, you know, with Sam. They had a child together. Oh, so. I know. You don't think that Ben's involved with somebody else, do you? I don't think so. So then... But, listen, with the way things are now, I wouldn't put anything past him. Wow. Yeah. I mean, for one thing, he's never home. Where does he go? Oh, he spends hours and hours at the clinic, you know. What? Ask him to just cut back on his hours. Well, if he's not at the clinic, he's at his bar. Why don't you go there with him? I can't do that. I thought you would like Crossroads. Well, I did until I walked in there one day and I found this woman draped all over him. What did Ben say about that? Well, what could he say? He said that she made a pass at him and he turned her down. <laughs> you know, Vicky, maybe, just maybe he is telling the truth. Oh, she was all over him. Vicky. I can't live like this. You know? You've seen Ben. He's completely out of control. I know that this situation with Alice and Perkins is a real flashpoint for him. But what? I don't want you to do anything drastic. Excuse me? I know you guys are having your problems right now, but you... You still love Ben, right? No. No. As hard as this is for me to say, I... You're serious? You don't love Ben? No, not anymore. What happened? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I never really loved him. Maybe it was just a schoolgirl crush and not real love. It's not the way it seemed. Oh, Bo. Come on, a bartender on the run from the mob. It was all very, very romantic. And then, you know, we got married and settled down and... And what? And reality set in, you know, and reality's very, very different from fantasy. It didn't have to be. <laughs> come on. We come from two different worlds. We have two totally different sets of values. Do you really believe that? Yes. He was raised as a criminal. He, he became a criminal. Oh, no, he, he doctored up some of those guys, yeah, but it, it's not quite the same thing. And plus, that's all in the past anyway. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter anyway, does it? Because deep down inside, he is who he is, and that's who he'll always be. No. I wish it weren't true, but it is. Look, you don't live with him. You don't know him the way, the way I do. I know, yeah. but... I tried, Bo. I tried so hard to make this marriage work. I really did, but I, I couldn't do it. I'm sorry. Yeah, marrying Ben was a big mistake, you know, the biggest mistake in my life. I see that now. I gotta tell you, I, you know, I, I really don't, I don't know what to say. Well, you don't have to say anything. I feel awful about this. And it seems like you made up your mind. Oh, I have. I have. It's over for Ben and for me. Of course, I can't tell him. Well, why not? Because I'm afraid. You're afraid? Why? I'm afraid that he will take his rage out against me. I know that Ben's been wound up pretty tightly. Yeah, and he has unwound a couple of times with a vengeance. Yes, but do you really think that he would ever do anything to hurt you? Or my children, yeah. No, oh, I promise you, I'd never let that happen. But he's so possessive. What if he simply won't accept that the marriage is over? You'll have to. Well, 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 what, what if he comes after me? He won't. Bo, what if he does? Where will I go? Who will I turn to? Me. You can, hey, you can always turn to me. Oh. <sighs> Can I really count on you? You can count on me always. Oh, Bo. <laughs> Stay tuned for scenes from the next One Life to Live. On the next One Life to Live. I was so worried that Troy would never be this happy with anyone again. Again? I came to say goodbye. Goodbye? You going somewhere? Who would come visit me, Dave? Bo, tell me what's going on. I think it's time you and I had a talk. 